Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's get into today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Stormy calling out production for the way some of the edits have been done in relation to the last episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it. So you know every single time that I post or go live and everyone hit that like and share buttons and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now let's get into today's video. So Stormy basically gave us a little bit of a tea that we did not know about the girl's trip and said that she wasn't actually staying in the hotel with the rest of the folk. And that instead, she was at the Four Seasons with her family. Basically, she traveled with her husband and she did not know why production decided to edit it the way they did so that it looks like she stayed with them when she didn't. I'll be honest, I didn't think she stayed with them because unless I have completely forgotten, but I don't remember anyone or Melody mentioning, oh, here is Stormy's room. So because that wasn't mentioned, I just basically assumed like she wasn't there. Unless maybe I've completely forgotten and you guys put me straight in the comment section if I forgot and Melody maybe called out that she was staying there or something. I didn't think that that was referenced at all. But I may be wrong. I don't remember everything all the time. So basically Stormy's qualms is like they made it seem like she was staying there with everyone else when she wasn't. Um, she also said that there were even scenes where she cried and told production she had separation anxiety traveling without her baby. But of course, it wasn't, it was sort of edited out. Here's the thing I don't even remember Stormy in the episodes as much. All I remember that Stormy did was have like facial expressions like, oh, haha, that kind of facial expressions. I don't remember her doing or saying anything that added to this episode in any way. Besides, I don't really think like it would be telling much of a story for them to include episodes where she was or any or clips where she was crying about not being with her baby. I don't think that would have added anything extra to the story. Like if, for instance, someone now brought the baby for her, to the trip i would be like oh okay you can add that to it well like just thinking about like what would want to watch if it's not really telling a story if i was production i'll cut that out too and guys it's not because i don't see it for stummy that i'm saying this but think about it do you want to see episodes or clips where she's talking about separation anxiety not being with her baby like, I probably wouldn't want to see that. Like, if it's part of a bigger conversation, maybe. I don't think that I would be too keen on seeing that unless someone decides to show up with the baby or she's like, oh, I'm going to go back home to my baby or something. Then I'll be like, okay, she left the trip early. And that adds to sort of like the story about the girl's trip. But aside that, like, I'm not going to, I would edit that out personally too. Now, on the other hand, now that I'm thinking about it again, there is some benefit to having those clips in there for people who are mothers to be able to at least relate to that. Because a lot of mothers will tell you that they... The first time they left their baby, they cried and how they felt. And some people even talk about like um, mama guilt or so mommy guilt where they go to work and then they have guilt and anxiety about their kids like whilst they're at work doing other things. So it could have been something that could sort of help with the story in terms of like having mothers on the show that people can relate to in that way so i guess i'm in between on that initially i was like no and now i'm like mm, i can also see some benefits to that but i just don't think that that is necessarily would have fit in with this episode i don't think it would have if i'm being completely honest maybe like when she gets back home and her kid is there and you see how she's reacting and so excited and how the kids or kid also responds to her and then you can show like a clip of when she was crying while she was on the trip and just as a flashback maybe like that something like that if you want to keep that clip but if not 
I would say edit it out. Now, whilst I think that what Stormy is saying about the way they edited it is not necessarily a big deal because of what it is that was edited, I will say it brings forth a bigger conversation. Now, you know, on this channel, we've talked about the way we feel like they edit sometimes. And I know Carlos is really anti us saying that you gave people the bad edit. But production is generally known to give people, certain people, the bad edit. And not showing enough of the conversation to give a balanced perspective. I feel like we're getting that with like Real Housewives of Dubai, for instance. I don't know if you guys watch Real Housewives of Dubai. But I do think that the way they are editing things out is protecting certain people and villainizing certain people, i.e. Lisa. And let's not talk about all the bad or horror stories we've heard about Ready to Love in particular and the way in which they edit. And it's on own TV as well. So I don't think it's very far-fetched that some people may get bad edits. I always feel bad for people that get bad edits because I just think like it's sad where like your conversation is not being shown like in a... There are certain things that are purposely being edited for you to be presented a certain way. And I know people say like you knew what you signed up for when you joined reality TV show. Yes, to an extent, but sometimes you don't understand the gravity. You don't understand how badly these things could be edited. I personally feel like as a rule of thumb, like when people give you bad edits, make sure you go live and talk about your perspective or schedule an interview to clear things up and give context that is missing. If I decided to be on reality TV as in preparation for me potentially being able to defend myself, I will keep a well-documented journal of things that happen on set so that if I have to go back and refer back with the dates and stuff, I have my proof. And I'm not relying on memory, which we know sometimes your memory could fail. So it's written down. That's just a tip. That way, when you're watching it back and you don't know what the heck happened or how it was edited, that way you can go in your journal and realize, I had a conversation with this person. This is what we discussed. So why is it coming out the way it is? But anyways, that is all I have to talk to you guys about today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you feel like the scenes that Stormy is talking about is that deep? do you feel like they should production should have edited it out or should have left it for us to see would you have been interested let me know in the comment section below and let us continue the conversation in the chat don't forget to like share and i will see you guys in the next video thank you